So the next heat on the track will be in lane one, Camberwell Malvern. Lane two, Keelor. Lane three, Wodonga. Lane four, Box Hill. Lane five, Diamond Valley. Lane six, Sandringham. Lane seven, Werribee. Lane eight, Mentone. So make sure you do keep commenting, sharing the stream. So we are live on Facebook and YouTube. We did turn off our Twitter account just to see if that does make sure the stream doesn't stop or continue to stop like it has been doing throughout the day, unfortunately. So we're just on Facebook and we are on YouTube. Um, make sure you are commenting. We will do a fair bit of shout-outs. Riley Thompson, go Wodonga, good job. Uh, there on YouTube. And then we've got a couple of comments on Facebook. Lorraine McConnell, um, who's waiting to cheer on Preston Reservoir. But the sound keeps disappearing. Lorraine, we're only going to be doing comment commentary at different stages throughout the event. So if there's no commentary, um, there still should be um, the race footage. Penny, we're up to the second heat in the boys under 13, 4 by 100 This is event 54. Uh, Anna, watching from Tokyo, Japan. That's awesome. Good job. Christine Murray, go Ringwood. Uh, Sarah Bine, go Mentone. And and we are here in our second heat. Of the boys under 13, 4 by 100 metres. And it does look like our team from Camberwell Malvern, um, from lane one, are pushing through the rest of the field there, uh, just ahead of Keeler in lane two. But they are going to come onto the bend, and they are going to have the advantage of being on the inside of the track there. So we do think they're probably going to pass out in front. But we've got our Werribee here, out in lane seven as well. But Camberwell Malvern, right on the infield. Werribee... Out in lane eight, Killor in lane two. All three teams will progress onto the finals. Top three, then the next two best times. <laughs> 